letting this chump get away. Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him. Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chumps. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassle, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, fat man, cause the Grizz is about to show you how to skate. Uh-oh. Oh, this won't take <laughs> Oh, God. I did not expect Murray to have to do the boss fight. At all. This is pretty cool. <laughs> uh. So how do I hit him? Oh my god, this is just like Crash Bandicoot. Could you get any more Crash Bandicoot? Oh my god. Look at this. I did not realize it was going to not show the last uh, button to press. Triangle, square, circle. Oh, damn it, there's no way that hit me. And I'm dead. No! These boss battles are not easy.
this? No way you can copy the grid! Ha! The worry can do that in his sleep! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see if you can match these moves, sucker! My grandma skates better than you! You can't do what I do! Ouch. Dude, this character would fit right into GT5. Right, one last go, circle, circle, X. Triangle, circle, square. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. You can't do what I, do. I was never good at stuff like this. Ever. Even free round things. Oosh. Oh. Nice moves, Murray. You were great. That performance was definitely a ten, pal. Murray. Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. And that's the moral of the story. <laughs> Today, you were the hero, Murray. Don't you forget. Oh, that's so cheesy. I hate that. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? That's so cheesy. Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves. Something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off. 
and whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England. Medieval yeah, England. Out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So, although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. We'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper. Gerald the Landon. Gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. The villainous stench of Le Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. Robot dogs. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down he was pretty worried. Hopefully, we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. She isn't going to be like the princess here, is she? Sly Cooper and the gang in of mice and mechs. 